Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BAFX. Uh, I hope you all uh, had a great trading week last week. It was a little bit of a bumpy one. Uh, that's why I called my previous overview uh, a super week. And uh, yeah, I think the next week we have also some uh, good uh, news events that may uh, move the market. So uh, my job today is uh, get you up to date and uh, show you uh, the trade ideas and uh, how I will uh, trade the market the upcoming week. So while I wrote the intro disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So, welcome back everyone. Um, we will start with the Euro uh, and I am on the weekly overview. Um, as you see, um, last week we uh, did a retest of the 200 moving average on the weekly time frame and uh, we failed to um, trade above it and the market start pushing uh, down all the way back to the lows. So this is now one, two, three, four weeks below the 200 moving average. That did not happen for a very long time, um, as you see. So uh, the market been using the 200 weekly moving average as support here previously, and it seems like we moved to a lower range uh, a little bit. Still, the major range is this one, but uh, if you look at this, like. Uh, we have this range here. Uh, we've been trading most of the time inside this upper range and now it seems like the market uh, move it uh, a little bit lower. Still, this um, support here is our key level that uh, the euro need to break below for a continuation to the downside. My expectation that there is a possibility for more downside on this market, but of course we want to see the last line of support here is uh, broken. So that was for the weekly. As you know, we had that uh, dovish uh, statement from the Fed and we got this very strong push to the upside. Uh, it is um, this push here. It was like an epic uh, uh, stop loss hunt and I've been saying all the time both on Facebook here and on Twitter sell the rallies on the euro. So uh, after this killing everyone else the market just dropped like a stone and here we are back at this key support level um, after this um, uh, break below. Yeah, So this break below was anticipated as a fake out but here we are yet once again back at this level and this is the key support level that uh, the euro uh, bulls need to defend uh, to stop to prevent this market from keep moving to the downside as you see a break below here uh, will send us to test uh, these lows um, down here or even lower to close the uh, French election uh, gap, the Macron gap down here. So uh, if we go down to the four hour, we see uh, that even on the four hour, we still have lower lows and lower highs. Now, next week is uh, NFP week, and that could be a possible catalyst for um, the move. Um, a strong NFP numbers could uh, make this market uh, break below, but the NFP will happen on Friday and we do have a whole trading week before that. So my first anticipation is, is that we possibly may see a uh, bounce to the upside uh, first off from uh, this support. There is that possibility. Uh, the level that interests me very much in case we get that uh, bounce is actually the 1.13 up here. Uh, this area could be a good level to look for uh, shorting this market back to the downside if tested. At that time we may have also the um, 200 moving average at that level. We could also take a Fibonacci retracement for this whole leg. Uh, that make the break below this low and see if we have any uh, confluence at this level. We see that the 618 happened to be at this previous structure low. And if we measure the whole leg, we see that the 38.2 uh, is at that 
uh, 1.13, a key level that the market may defend based on uh, previous uh, support um, on this market at this level. So uh, that is my level of interest for the euro as far as we are below that. Uh, there is a possibility for a continuation to the downside. Uh, the, th the second thing is, of course, if the market breaks below uh, l last week's lows, that would mean that we're going to test this last line of defense. And if broken, that will open the door for more downside on this market. I will keep being uh, bearish on the euro until we start seeing higher highs and higher lows above the uh, 1.13 so uh, I need to see a higher low and a higher high at least above this level to change my mind and start thinking for a possible continuation of this uh, range here okay um, sterling USD the brexit event still is the key for everything happening uh, you know that uh, Theresa May lost uh, another vote for the third time now and things are pointing more t uh, toward um, uh, hard brexit um, but I am still having a very very hard time to see a hard brexit happening um, but I will give you the technical levels, guys, and um, yeah, it's up to you if you're going to trade uh, this uh, during such a market condition that where uh, just the Brexit headlines were moving this currency. So really, if you want to trade sterling, you need to sit to be sitting on those screens and watching your Twitter and uh, the news and uh, having all the headlines in front of you because uh, things are moving very fast on all those headlines. In any case, the uh, 1.300 is key support level where we have this trend line, we have the 200 moving average, and that even handle number that been acting as good uh, support and uh, resistance in the past. So where the market did test here, uh, on Friday, this um, cross area here is still the key level for uh, the sterling. Um, if it's going to continue uh, down from here, we need to see a break below the trend line, a break below this uh, support level for the continuation. As for now, what we've done last week so far is uh, trading sideways and uh, we have clear level this down here is our uh, key support and uh, the highs up here uh, is the resistance so you have this range play that until you have a breakout so if you got nice bullish evidence on the retest here if that happened there is a possibility for a bounce back up toward yearly pivot point up here uh, in the previous highs that is very very possible and of course if we see a break below that level a strong break below that you could wait for the retest or and for another bounce <coughs> toward these lows down here that is um, a very possible market objective if that break happened uh, remember one thing here we had uh, many failed highs as you see and the market kept pushing lower so we are sitting at that support and we want to see that broken for more downside otherwise a bounce from this level is very possible um, USD JAPI uh, inverted head and shoulder here on the four hour. We know that the 110 was uh, a, a key support level, and I did mention that in uh, last week overview. So we have now this uh, inverted head and shoulder uh, where it happened at that uh, key support, the 110. The 111 is, um, in my opinion, the first market objective uh, after this uh, break, retest and continuation. So if you're holding longs, keep an eye on this uh, 111 area where we had uh, previous uh, previously broken structure. The 200 moving average on the four hour gonna be at that level. So we may get some troubles uh, and uh, maybe another push to the downside. A break above the 111, a strong break above that could uh, mean that we may uh, keep pushing toward the 112 area. So um, that for that to happen, we need to see the stock market keep pushing higher as it did um, last week. We had uh, 
some uh, downside movement to then um, start moving higher once again that what gave this uh, market a, a push higher as well from this support level yeah so keep an eye on those stocks as well USD chief still looking uh, weak actually despite uh, that the Dixie did a very strong push to the upside testing 97 and above that and um, as we saw on the euro um, the, the the usd was much stronger than the euro but here okay we had a um, push from this support level but if you look at the uh, body bodies of those candles you see we have very very small bodies here still could be considered a possible uh, correction here and uh, if we look at the four hour time frame, we see that we have this some kind of uh, sideways or uh, flag here uh, going on. So uh, we still have a very uh, much trouble at the 618 Fibonacci retracement of this whole leg here on um, USD Chief. So if we measure uh, the whole leg from uh, up here, we still um, have the 38.2 at that level and where the market is struggling right now was the 618 of this leg here so this is uh, still a key uh, resistance level up here we see that we failed one two three four times to break above it uh, and we still have uh, a possibility that this market push one more time to the downside toward these um, at the bottom of this range or possibly last month's uh, monthly s1 so uh, yeah, by the way, these uh, monthly pivot are still from last month uh, waiting to get the new monthly pivot to update that. OK, so um, considering possible um, another leg to the downside as far as this is acting as resistance, um, I will try to short this level once again uh, on this market, anticipating a possible continuation to the downside. Now, USDCAD, uh, I was anticipating to short once again from the monthly R1, just uh, sorry, monthly R2 from the last month, just below that was my limit order. Never got triggered. We got a break, a retest, and I was expecting um, a uh, possible continuation to that level before the next leg to the downside. Now, the market moved lower before reaching that, um, getting a little bit help of uh, oil. Uh, since oil pushed higher on Friday so uh, this got uh, some help of that and uh, as you see we had this double top we broke the neckline now and there is a possibility that we uh, see this market uh, coming all the way down here to test uh, these lows um, at uh, at around this area where we had uh, strong support previously we see how we left this level very strongly uh, the last time we tested this area uh, on the daily time frame we have a higher high here higher low and then we have a failed high here uh, this is uh, this should be worrying for the bulls because <clears throat> what you want to see in a healthy trend uh, on this move to the upside that we do not fail to make a new high what you want to see is a higher another higher high on the daily time frame to to think of a possible continuation so that did not happen we failed make new high we have a double top broke the neckline on the daily time frame i do not see any trouble on the way until we test these lows down here as i showed you on the four hour time frame so <clears throat> possible market objective here is uh, probably to uh, reach and test these levels uh, if you're holding a short there is not much on the way uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour <clears throat> is a possible level that we may see the market using this uh, 200 moving average as a possible dynamic support and give you a bounce higher maybe a retest of this neckline or something like that but the key support and the key market objective could be uh, down here where we could expect a bounce higher we still have this uh, trend line um, that we could use also for the longer time uh, time frame uh, to expect a possible bounce on that we still have the 200 moving average on the daily as well down here that may act as support if we manage to break these lows in my opinion the key support is the body of these candles down here this area 1.3290 
is uh, the key support uh, <coughs> on this market. <coughs> Aussie USD still uh, inside a range. Uh, it seems like uh, this level down here still acting as a strong support. So uh, we should keep uh, seeing this as a possible support. Uh, we do have uh, this range to play with on this market. Uh, and I'm not doing anything else until that is uh, broken. So any retest toward uh, this level could be a possible level for a bounce. If the market continues higher uh, at the open or next week continue higher, to, then we should expect a possible trouble at previous highs here and another uh, bounce to the downside. It could also test all the way up here toward this high. Uh, <clears throat> this previous high and go back down so still a range a bound market and uh, <clears throat> we should play play it at that there is still no trend continuation on this market New Zealand USD very strong lower last week on the uh, very dovish um, uh, statement from the center and New Zealand Central Bank and uh, that's why we got a very strong strong move to the downside breaking below all these lows and uh, yeah one day move uh, covered almost a couple of weeks trading and after that uh, always when we have such a great move like this uh, the day after or two days after that you're gonna see some sideways now we do have a big void in this market and uh, i think we may see a possible uh, um, correction higher a little bit more uh, to fill this void at, at least so um, I still uh, see the yearly pivot point on this market uh, if we manage to see a correction toward this yearly pivot point area and uh, this uh, previous support and resistance level uh, to uh, start looking for a possible uh, bearish signal at that area for the next leg lower on uh, New Zealand USD. Uh, otherwise, uh, we did a retest on uh, last month uh, pivot point uh, once, twice. We could not break above it. So this could be the first trouble area. If uh, we do not manage to break above it, there is a possibility for this market to continue lower and test these lows down here um, be without a break or a deeper uh, correction, I would say. And uh, USD CAD, as you see, uh, same scenario. We tested uh, the extreme highs. We tested the top of the channel once again, pushed lower, still testing the last line of defense below this. If this uh, level here got broken on this market, I'm anticipating a push all the way back down toward these lows. So we need to keep watching that. We had uh, a little bit of a consolidation. We could not make a higher correction and uh, it did close uh, near the lows uh, last week so uh, your uh, key level is now this area down here a break below that could signal a continuation toward the bottom of the of this uh, channel on this market so um, yeah that was it for today guys thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next week do not forget to hit the like button and leave a comment if you do like these videos bye bye and uh, happy trading